Hey guys and gals and welcome to Game Slobs. My name is Coops and today we are doing Daybreak and this is the, what, the second instance file? Yes it is. This is the second instance, okay. Um, normally you'll find with each of these uh, episodes you get one or two, maybe three if we're lucky. Uh, instances so that should be exciting um, just to give you a recap on what we found out through um, the the map part of it um, so we went into the library we did a few bits around there turning mirrors around to prove that we're uh, loyal to the Sun Spear and not Joko because that's the thing you know and I'm just gonna turn a few mirrors around and there you go that's my loyalty proven uh, <laughs> And then we uh, went into this sort of library place, and that was epic. That library, agree with me, Vile, wasn't that epic? I'm agreeing with you. It's it's like a it was like a scene from Harry Potter. It was this never-ending library. It was brilliant. So oh beautiful. yeah, when they go into the room with the prophecies, and there's it's yeah. like a never-ending row of prophecies. That's pretty much what those bookshelves look like. Pretty much what it was, you know. And I would just love. I would go crazy in there. I could spend literally five years in there just reading through all that lore. So, yeah, a little bit sad. But uh, <laughs> after that, um, we went into a secret room and we found a book called Nightfall, no less. Um, which, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll know about Nightfall. It's uh, it's an expansion for Guild Wars 1 called Nightfall. It was set in um, the Crystal Desert. So it's a whole campaign based around that. Um and uh, this book had the the biggest load of tripe in there, which was basically just completely kissing Palawa Joko's ass, and it was all just complete rubbish. Um, obviously, I know that because they played the story, and I'm just like, wow, okay, so he's just taking credit for everything that basically you as the player did in the previous game. So it's like, okay douchebag so <laughs> um Palawa joker has pretty much taken over half of this map um and uh, we want to get into foreigner but we can't until we find this sun spear so we found his little uh his little best man as it were and he's told us he's the the way to get to him is to save him from the slies which uh, goes back to the hero Margaret the sly uh from nightfall um, and to, to get them to allow us to take this guy back, we've got to then give a coin to them, and that coin is in here. And it's all very complicated, so we're just going to go for it. So, <laughs> let's go. Let's do this. Did I miss anything, Vile? I don't think so, no. You covered was, it quite clearly. Was that clear as mud? Yep, yep that's about yep. the state of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're going into the Cave of Sunspear Champion. So what's that? Oh, a swamp gun. Uh, the fool come to court Eat. death in the name of Afras. Koss oh, will oblige you too. That's Koss. I have no wish to fight you, but I need your coin, not for myself, to save a sunspear. Oh my a god. Spear marshal. Sunspear. What are you trying to pull? The sunspears died out years ago. No. No way. They live, and they're fighting right now to save Istan. But they need their spear marshal. Hmm. And from what does he need saving this spear marshal? The current sly captain, Saida. She plans to sell him to Joko's minions. I need him to help me win a war. Joko? I died valiantly. A worthy end only to be raised from the dead by that infernal sop turned into this. Compelled to obey his every order, I banished myself here to evade them. Can't obey what you can't hear. Ingenious. Then it should please you to give me the coin so I can defeat his armies. <laughs> I like you, but I don't know you. Koss was no patsy in life, and he will not be in death. Honor demands you will fight, and probably die like all the rest. But best me? And the coin is yours. Um, you may be uh, wondering why I was like, Koss, oh my god! 
He was also one of your heroes in Guild Wars 1. Um, he was a warrior. So that that is like mind blown right here. And down he goes. Again. The great and mighty cause bested in combat. Who the <laughs> hell are you? Someone who's in a hurry? Well, the coin is yours. I'll no longer be entertained by foolish corsairs seeking glory and favors. This life beyond the grave will become even duller than before. Hard to imagine. We hope to bring down the Mordant Crescent. And with Joko in the domain of the lost, things can change. His whispers travel far, even on others' lips. I dare not leave, lest I become his weapon once more. But you do me this favor. You hurt him hard, so not one more soul can be condemned to this. Now go! Wait, let me take a good look at you. Yeah, yeah, get out of my, get out of my way, get out of my way. Look at that. Look at that fate. Oh. The Sun Spears of my time thought it best not to engage Joko directly. I knew he was too much of a threat to ignore. We were the ones who released Whoa. him. It was up to us to end his menace. I took a few volunteers to do just that. We failed. I failed. So awesome. It's really, really, really awesome to see characters from Guild Wars 1 in Guild Wars 2. I did not see that coming. I did not for one moment. Oh, moldy old book. Interact for an achievement? Oh, yeah. Marvellous. Um, yeah, I did not for one second expect to find Koss here. Of all people, I just did not. It hadn't even crossed my mind that he was still alive. So that's that's pretty epic. Um, obviously, a lot of the characters from Guild Wars One carry over a lot of the story into Guild Wars Two. You got the Master of Whispers and Margaret the Sly. Obviously, she's in here. You've got uh, Pie of Fish shot, um, Gwen and uh, Kieran Thackeray. They've they've all carried over the story, and I just, I love that. I love that you, they're connecting the two games, even with a two hundred and fifty year gap. You know, so amazing. And I love that we've we've found Cos. That's great. Love it. Right. Anyway, <laughs> that's enough of that because I got a little bit too excited by the the appearance of Cos. Here he is. It's cosplay. <laughs> See what I do there? Cosplay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was almost funny too. <laughs> anyway, that's enough for this video. So let's recap. What have we done? We've basically come in here to get the coin. Um, Koss obviously knew Margaret the Sly, um, and they—I think they had a bit of a thing going on, a bit of sort of, you know, not readiness. Um, so uh, yeah, <laughs> um, it's it's quite interesting that now he's helping us to convince the slies to to help us. So we, we'll see what happens next. I, I imagine we'll probably go give them the coin. They'll go, yeah, there you go. But have a little fight in between, you know, because that's that's how all these instances go. Am I right? Exactly. Exactly. Right. Um, so we will catch you in the next instance. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow for the next instance. Hopefully there will be one. Otherwise, this is going to be a little bit awkward. <laughs> I love you all with affections unspeakable. Vile. Bye. Goodbye.